as many schools and school districts are closing across the country, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has not ruled out uh, closing or opening up schools in May, um, saying that many kids um, are not vulnerable to this disease. Do you agree with that assessment and do you believe that schools, would you recommend that schools um, open up uh, and to those states that have well, I have a lot of confidence in Ron DeSantis, a lot of faith in Ron DeSantis to make the right decision. He's doing a great job as governor. Uh, Ron DeSantis, I, I had read where he's thinking about opening up the schools earlier than the date, the end of the month. Uh, I'd have to look at the numbers. But again, you know, I like to allow governors. And they went up and they went down. And now you're at your lowest numbers. And you're open, and you didn't close, and then you didn't close, and then you didn't close, and then you didn't close, and didn't close, and you're just amazing, right? It's great. So we're joined today by one of the greatest governors in our country, 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 and I know a lot of good ones, and I can tell you there's some really bad ones too. But this is a great one, Governor Ron DeSantis. Governor. Where is it? Even open yet? What the hell is going on with your state? You know, Florida's open. All this. Florida had a surge. Great governor surge went down. The greatest economy in the history of our country. And then we had to close it up. When the China plague came in, we close it up, 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 we close it up. Was there a change in your I did convey the message. I didn't like the fact that he's leaving certain things. I want the states to open more than he does, much more than he does. But I didn't like to see spas at this early stage, nor did the doctors. Is that a correct statement, Deborah? I didn't like to see spas opening. Frankly, I didn't like to see a lot of things happening, and I wasn't happy with it. And I wasn't happy with Brian Kemp. I wasn't at all happy, but I wasn't happy with Brian Kemp. Spas, beauty parlors, tattoo parlors. Uh, no, uh, that's that. And by the way, I want them to open. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I want them to open, and I want them to open as soon as possible. And I want the state to open. But I wasn't happy with Brian Kemp. I will tell you that right now. Yeah, go ahead. But I want people to be safe. And I want the people in Georgia to be safe. And I don't want this thing to flare up because you're deciding to do something that is not in the guidelines. And I went to Deborah and Dr. Fauci and other people. And they weren't thrilled about it. And, and one thing I have to pay tribute, we have, whether it's Dr. Fauci, we have the best people on Earth. We have the most talented people whether to ease them or reinstate them for another 15 days. Will you follow the advice of Dr. Birx and Dr. Fauci if they say you should maintain them for and two others, more weeks? Yeah. And then ultimately I have to make a decision. But I certainly listen to them. I listen to a number of people. And I have a lot of respect for Dr. Fauci and for Dr. Birx. This going on long into the future when this virus is gone and defeated, some of the things we're doing now, will be very good practice for the future, including for not getting the flu, which is very devastating also. So some of what we're learning now will live on into the future. I really believe that shaking hands or not shaking hands, washing hands all the time, staying a little apart. Fifteen days ago, we published. I said I didn't like the particular place, a spa. A tattoo parlor. No, no. I think it's wonderful. I want to see us open safely. But I didn't like And you know who helped me a lot? It, honestly? In fact, I said, don't run for governor, Ron. Stay exactly where he was a congressman, you governor, right? There he is. Look at Mark. He's out there working with the phone. He's got the phone going. He uses two at one time, right? But your governor was another one. He stood up. You know, he's Harvard and Yale. Do you know that? Your governor. He doesn't talk about it. He doesn't talk about it. But he would be on television defending me and fighting for me. Until you have the, uh, yeah. the data yet left. I want those guidelines to go even when we're open and fully operational. And frankly, much of the guidelines, like shaking hands, maybe people aren't going to be shaking hands anymore. You know, uh, Tony had mentioned to me, Tony Fauci, uh, the other day that 
I don't think he was — would be too upset with the concept of not shaking hands. He was saying that the flu would cut down, the regular flu would be cut down by quite a bit if we didn't do that, if we didn't shake hands. You know, the regular flu, of which, you know, you have a lot of deaths and a lot of problems with that, too. So I think a lot of — a lot of great things are going to — when we're open, just so — just to finish, when we're open, as soon as we open, that doesn't mean you're going to stop with the guidelines. You'll still — Try and distance yourself. Maybe not to the same extent, because you have to lead a life. But I think the time is coming. He's ending all, all sanctuary cities in the state of Florida. And uh, I'll tell you, Governor DeSantis has been, he has been fantastic. He's right on the ball. And, and one thing I have to pay tribute, we have, whether it's Dr. Fauci, we have the best people on Earth. We have the most talented people whether to ease them or reinstate them for another 15 days. Will you follow the advice of Dr. Birx and Dr. Fauci if they say you should maintain them for and two others, more weeks? Yeah. And then ultimately I have to make a decision. But I certainly listen to them. I listen to a number of people. And I have a lot of respect for Dr. Fauci and for Dr. Birx. This going on long into the future when this virus is gone and defeated, some of the things we're doing now, will be very good practice for the future, including for not getting the flu, which is very devastating also. So some of what we're learning now will live on into the future. I really believe that shaking hands or not shaking hands, washing hands all the time, staying a little apart. Fifteen days ago, we published